remember a time when all you wanted was out of the mob. Yeah, and I got out for, what, 20 minutes? But don't use me as the shiny example of the guy who went legit. My attempt was an epic fail. I'm just asking you to do the right thing. Michael's in a very vulnerable place right now, and I think he's trying to find a way to regain some of that power. And it's easy for you to take advantage of that situation and get one up on Sonny or piss Sonny off, whatever your agenda is. I'm just asking you to show some humanity and show some restraint and leave Michael out of it. You know, of all people, I would have expected you to understand. Understand what? I'm trying to help Michael. You know why you liked me in the first place? Vividly, you were crazy and reckless, and exactly what I needed at the time. You know what else I was? Naive. I still believe that I had a say in my own destiny. Well, you do. We all do. No, we don't. We're all products of our environment. Okay, look at the way I grew up. I had a lunatic crime boss for a father, a sister who was troubled at best. I was isolated in this home where my father tried to shoot me and ended up shooting and killing my mother instead. And all the while, business went on. That's horrible. No, it's worse than horrible. It's primal. It's in your blood. You don't get to cross over to the straight side. You don't get to put on some funeral suit and go take a job behind a desk in a high rise somewhere. It's your lifeline. You carry it. You make it sound hopeless. No, there is an upside, just like there is with everything else. You trade safe and secure for money, for power, freedom. Freedom to cause havoc. If necessary, sure. What happened to the guy that wanted nothing to do with this business? He opened up a chop shop and almost choked on the fumes, so he went back to what he knew. Do you remember when my father was sent to prison, I took over the business? I fit in. It's the only place I fit in. Okay, that makes me very sad for you. But it still has nothing to do with Michael. Did you see? Michael is me all over again. Michael grew up the same way I did. He knows how this business works from the inside. He saw things by the time he was five, whether he consciously remembers them or not, that most adults never see in an entire lifetime, unless they're cops or coroners. It hardens you. It skews your perception of reality. It shows you that, that both sides can be just as corrupt. Oh, come on. You can do better than that tired argument that the other side is just as bad. That's self-justifying crap. Criminals break laws. Not all cops are bad. I know because I happen to be in love with one. Yeah, one who went by the book and saw his little brother sent to prison for his trouble. Okay, there are two choices. Okay. You leave your fate to a faithless law system, or you can make your own justice. The choice is pretty easy for me, and I'm guessing it's getting pretty easy for Michael. Why do you get to decide for Michael? I don't get to decide for him. He gets to decide for him. Isn't that why we're having this conversation? No, we're having this conversation because he's 19 years old and he's already been to prison. If he starts up things with you and he gets caught for doing something illegal, he will go back. You don't want to carry that guilt around. It's heavy. You felt a lot of it when he was shot. I, don't you want something better for Michael than what you have? I'd say I've done pretty well. Yeah, okay, you have a nice apartment and nice things. That's mob money. That doesn't mean that you're happy. Is anybody really happy? I'm happy. Anymore? Yes, I have problems. Fine, but but I like myself, okay? And I, I can meet my own eyes in the mirror. I thought that you could do that too, but you've resurrected this attitude like you don't give a damn about anything, but the truth is you're lost. Well, that's your opinion. Don't make it like I'm lying to myself. You went on trial for a murder to protect me. That's not the act of someone who doesn't give a damn. I always gave a damn about you. Good. Then listen to me. Michael has a soul. If you want to help him, you leave him alone. your influence over an ex-boyfriend. Johnny. You guys still friendly? Is this about Michael? Why? I, no, it's fine. I just, I just came from Johnny's place and I called him out on his newfound urge to be Michael's BFF and all this desire to help him. He's practically rolling out the mob welcome mat. What did you say to him? I reminded him how the mob has already hurt Michael and how guilty he felt when he was shot. Any luck? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I do know that whether or not Johnny reacts, he listens, so maybe I got through to him on some level. I just can't believe, knowing what it's like, that Johnny would open the door to ruining Michael's life. Yeah, Johnny doesn't see it that way. He sees Michael as a kindred spirit, and he's the only one who can truly understand. You know, 